Hello my lovely brand new year 11s. I've asked the year 12s to come and drop some advice comments down below so go and check those out and ask them any questions. Um, Because even though your exams are in 2023 and that feels like a really really long way away it's actually not that far away. There are 37 actual weeks until exams start which means there are depending exactly on your holidays about 30 school weeks until your exams start and if you have a lesson twice a week and you do not miss any of those lessons or bank holidays or school trips or whatever it's about 60 lessons left until your GCSEs so even though they feel like a really really long way away they're actually not that far away so I'm going to say the same thing that I say to every single year group at this point and I say the same thing to you when we get to year 12 please start revising now. I know it feels like 2023 is crazy long way and you've got ages and ages and ages and ages and there's still loads and loads of stuff you haven't learned. Please start revising now. Um, I'm going to be here with you the whole step of the way and I'm going to take you through every single thing you should be doing to start revising now but not go crazy and burn out. Lots of people will say, I can't start advising, it's way too early, by the time I get to my actual exams, I'll be way too burnt out. And that is true, if you're sitting down doing past papers for hour and hour and hour and hour on end now, at this point in year 11. But that's not what I'm asking you to do, I'm asking you to do a little bit often. For example, if you do 20 minutes a week, and that could be like two 10 minute slots, it could be a 20 minute slot, it could be some five minute slots, 20 minutes a week revision for your exams spread over the 30 school weeks that we have left, then we are pushing about 10 hours of revision. Now 20 minutes of revision doesn't feel like a huge amount, because that could be going with flashcards while you're on the bus or something doesn't feel like a huge amount but actually 10 hours is quite a significant amount of revision and you've got a choice you can either spread it out and do little and often little and often little and often or you can sit down and do choose first Tuesday of these holidays do a 10 hour day of French revision I definitely know which one I would rather do the 20 minutes once a week or 10 minutes twice a week to build up your knowledge slowly is much better than sitting down and doing a full, solid, awful, horrific, do not want to do this, 10 hour day in the Easter holidays. Now I know the majority of people would leave all this to Easter holidays and they will struggle and they will get super stressed and these are the people that are really, really quickly going to burn out because they're having to go from zero to 100% in revision. What I'm asking you to do is to do a little bit here and there. And this doesn't, I'm definitely not talking about this stage doing things like past papers. I'm talking about making flashcards, which we can then put to one side and then use when we get to May, use when we get to Easter, and actually as part of our vision. The fact that you're making flashcards, maybe on the lesson you've just had that day, is really good revision and it's stuff that we can use later on. I have over my website 100% free loads and loads and loads of multiple choice questions for you. So every single lesson in science or maths that you would do, there is a set of multiple choice questions. So at the end of the day, think about what subject you had for that lesson and just go over to the website, do the multiple choice questions, see how you get on. It's really, really low pressure vision because nobody's checking up on you for doing this nobody's grading you for doing this like the questions on my website you do get a mark for a percentage for the end but I'm not going to tell you about what it is so there are lots and lots of little things that you can be doing throughout all of this to make sure that when we get to Easter when generally things kick into really really high gear revision you've actually done loads and loads of stuff that you're actually not feeling too stressed because the the gentle going over things again and again and again, little bit by little bit by little bit, is really going to help it sink in properly. Trying to cram it all in in Easter just before your exams is not going to work. So we do have a fair few weeks before Easter comes around. And I say I keep referring to Easter because that's generally when 
I always like to finish teaching. That's generally where most teachers like to finish teaching. And then the time between Easter and May half term, that's generally a bit quieter. That's generally about revision. You could be in school, off school, study leave. So, so I'm generally going to aim to finish teaching stuff around Easter. And that's what you can expect as well. Now, every single lesson is important. And it is unrealistic to expect that you'll be in every single lesson. You might have like geography field trips or you might have drama presentations or you might have a football match or something else that keeps you out of lesson or it keeps you off school for a period of time. But every single lesson is important because that could be that big six mark question for that exam that uh, you've missed the lesson of. So please, whenever you miss a lesson, for whatever reason it is, please always try and go and catch up those notes to make sure that you've got the notes. And when I'm talking about notes, the stuff that you do in class, the exercise book that you have in class, maybe you've written stuff down, maybe you've done some like practice questions in class. Can I read to cover French? Um, maybe you've done some practice questions in class. What I would like you to do is to take those notes, take them home and write them up in neat so that you've got kind of like um, your own revision guide. You can add to it examples from my videos or anyone else's videos. It's not like I'm in competition with other teacher YouTubers. We just all really want you to do as well as can. So watch my videos or go watch someone else's science videos or maths videos or whatever videos you need to be able to make those notes to make your own perfect revision guide. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a revision guide because you can make your own from videos, from stuff you've done in class. If you want a template framework to help you out to, to know which bit, which, which, oh, language, which bits goes where, oh, if you sign up to my mailing list, you'll get sent a free checklist of all the things you need to know for science and math, and I think there's some history and some geography in there as well. So th this gives you a structure, a place to get started with. So you're not starting completely from fresh. When I'm telling you to do this little bit, little bit, little bit of revision all the time, chances are you will do it for some subjects and you won't do it for other subjects. You will do it for subjects that you like. You will do it for your favourite subject, maybe the ones you want to do for A-level, and then you'll skip off the other subjects that you don't like that much because you're human, that's what people do. However, I'm gonna strongly suggest that you get a revision timetable. These are the ones that I have designed for my website. You can see down here that there are different times depending on what works for you best, what you need to do when, what things you need to remember. Like, do you need to remember to take your pee kit or your food tech stuff in on Wednesday? A little post-it note size pad and then different times of the weekends because the revision pads, the, 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 planner pads that are made for other people don't really work very well for students I think so um, I made different ones for you now this will allow you to keep track of all your subjects are you spending the right amount of time on this subject or that subject have you completely forgotten to do French for the past three weeks you still have to sit here are you doing twice as much biology as you are chemistry because biology is your favorite so there are lots and lots of different things on there that you can keep track of and when you are revising this never makes me happy when i tell you this not every subject is as important as the other ones we have high priority subjects and we have low priority subjects your high priority subjects are going to be things like english and math so you have to get your grades in otherwise you want to read it and things you want to do at A level. You can spend more time doing those as opposed to maybe RS, which you have to do, but you don't necessarily want to do next year. So I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way, guys. I have loads and loads of stuff coming for you. Um, this is gonna be a really, really good year. Ouch. This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>